you are going to live in a form of a dormitory where you share rooms with other people just be cautious just be cautious because sometimes you might not get lucky and you might meet a very huge saliva slapping your face so just be cautious stay cautious and with this tobacco star sometimes some people might disgust you with the way they spit around and how disgusting and nauseatic it is very nauseatic sometimes though but <laughs> how you go do them you still for manage them whether we like it or yes we are here with them and we sometimes need to manage their way of life and then adjust to them Lots of people keep asking me questions about accommodation system here in the UAE and if I am also living and sharing accommodation with other colleague workers or other people. Yes, of course, I live with my colleague workers and I am sharing accommodation with them. Yes, this is what it is. Actually, um, coming here as a fresher, lots of people, especially myself, thought I was going to have myself um, an apartment, maybe a studio apartment here in the uae whilst i was coming actually i had big dreams because when i last researched about uae or dubai i saw high-rise buildings and then you know skyscrapers and stuff like that so i thought charlie in future i'm going to live in one of these buildings because i i, I didn't I, I didn't have any idea about what was really on the grounds and i thought it was all rosy out here until i got here and then but first of all before i talk about this i would like to issue a disclaimer my video today is not targeted at or it is not aimed at you know um, defaming anybody or tarnishing the in image of any country neither am i going to speak about or against any kind of culture or religion this is what is really on the grounds and i share it with you here as it is this is uae and if you intend to travel and come seek employment here if you want to come seek greener pastures here and you don't have any kind of academic qualification that is going to earn you about five thousand plus then this is the reality on the ground pertaining accommodation system here in the uae and it has actually been enshrined in their ministry of human resources and amortization you know um portal it's been enshrined there concerning should i say labor accommodation or labor camps it is better i educate you a little bit about this before you make that move because i didn't know when i was traveling to the ua in fact i checked all the internet i tried to find information about where i was going to live where i was going to sleep co compare to compare and see if it was going to be conducive for me to come and live here and then work but i couldn't get any form of vital information that was able to give me a vivid you know explanation about the accommodation system here in the uae first of all i'd like to introduce you to the apartment systems here in the uae if you come here and you have money enough or your company pays you well enough about five thousand four thousand three thousand five hundred dirhams then you could get yourself or rent yourself a studio apartment which may be paid by your company and be deducted from your salary as time goes on or with time most companies also pay your accommodation fees alongside your main salary so that you can deduct your accommodation fees and pay at the end of the month you can also get yourself a studio apartment besides the main apartment you can get yourself a studio apartment or get yourself a partition the partition is a big room it's a huge room whereas it's being divided into several parts with either a plywood like any way or form they can divide the room so that you could share you, you could you know have your own privacy uh, your own corner your own cubicle with your bed and then maybe um, a, a cabinet or a wardrobe where you can hang your dress and stuff like that or a place you can keep your shoes and stuff like that yes that is the partition for you and then there is this form of bed space the best space actually is in the form of um, a dormitory a school dormitory yes this is how i can put it it's in the form of a school dormitory where as lots of people do share the same room a number of about six seven eight nine or ten people do share one room and then pay at the end of the day you don't really pay for the room you pay for the bed that you are laying on that is why the name um, best space is you know given to this place besides the best space if you come here into the UAE, one of the benefits that you get from the UAE when you are working with an employer and you are your salary is below 1500 dirhams it is the responsibility of your employer to provide you an accommodation of which you are supposed to share with other colleagues which means your privacy is definitely at stake 
that is if you are earning below 1500 dirhams but if you are earning more and you think or you feel like you can afford a room on your own if you feel like you can afford a studio apartment on your own you can actually get yourself a room on your own and then enjoy life as you want it i would also like to use this opportunity to advise each and everybody out there especially if you you think you are a family man and you're doing well back home and you think um you you've you've been able to rent yourself a room which you 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 are not accountable to anybody to or you you you're living good back home i'd advise you think about it you take a second thought about it and then um adjust your thoughts like psych yourself before you you you, you intend to make that move because Traveling to see greener pastures here actually entails a whole lot of things psychologically, spiritually, physically, mentally, every, emotionally. Seriously, it entails a whole lot of things. So if you're coming here, just do well to do a little bit of research and then know about the place you're coming to and what is really on the grounds before you make that move. Because I know of lots of people who actually travel into this country and then regret so much coming because they think they were doing well back home especially when they see the places that they are they are supposed to sleep or spend the night each and every day for that um 700 and over days before they go back to their home country and once you sign that contract there is no turning back you'd have to complete or finish that contract before you are allowed to go back home if you decide to go back home before the end of the contract you go on your own expense there are lots of things that really do happen in accommodations that i wouldn't like to bother you about for now but in fact just remember that you are coming here to meet lots of people from different walks of life even if they are also your national your own nationality there are lots of things that people might do in the in a accommodation that might really trigger your 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 anger or might get you angered but sometimes you would need to adjust to the system because there are lots of people who are here that don't really know the kind of manners that you've had back home before traveling into the country so sometimes it is better you adjust or tune into like adjust your temperament and then tune it into the tune of this the, the people now this place or this country is an Arabic country, but on coming here, do not expect to see too much Ara Arab people or Arabos. Do not expect to see too much Arab people around because the nationals themselves are not that out there. The main nationalities that you'll be meeting here are people from Sri Lanka, people from Nepal, people from India, especially, and then Pakistan. Like these are the kind of people that you are going to meet. And one main problem, one main wahala that you might be meeting is, Charlie, we are from different walks of life. Though lots of them are actually cultured, lots of them are educated, lots of them know how to go about things, especially when um, it comes to matters about, you know, culture and then, should I say, um, when it comes to manners. You understand yeah there is an instance where you would be meeting people who don't even really know that when someone is eating or if someone is having a quiet time it is no need for you to disturb them with some disgusting sounds i i mean you you understand what i mean when i say disgusting sounds if you do not understand i i have done a video on that you can go check up on them and you would understand what i am talking about especially when you're you know when they try to clear their truth in that manner yes that manner like it's it looks like you someone is vomiting or something of the sort you understand and uh, there is one other thing that you should take note of, especially when you are going to share accommodation or you are going to share rooms with these people. Um, they, are <clears throat> they are used to spitting around. So beware. Take care whenever you are walking in the streets or whenever you are riding your bicycle in the streets. The main means of transport here, especially when you are in a, a labor accommodation, are through uh, bicycles. Like that is your main means of transport because labor accommodations can be very huge and maybe the distance from your accommodation to your workplace might be very long and you would need a bicycle but on riding just be cautious just be cautious because sometimes you might not get lucky and you might meet a very huge saliva slapping your face so just be cautious stay cautious and with this tobacco star sometimes some people might disgust you with the way they spit around and how disgusting it is but and nauseatic it is very nauseatic sometimes though but <laughs> how you go do them you still for manage them whether we like it or yes we are here with them and we sometimes need to manage their way of life and then adjust to them you understand yes yeah, so that is the labor camp for you and this is what is really on the grounds you are 
coming here as should i say a high school student when you are in africa i guess when especially when you're in west africa i guess you understand what i am talking about if you are coming here into the ua to work um, your accommodation system is just as similar to that of boarding school students like you are going to live in a form of a dormitory where you share rooms with other people and then um, your bathrooms you share with other people and just imagine you scrub your bathroom you 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 tidied up your bathroom and then the next moment you should go back into the room and come back and someone who is your roommate your colleague has come stepped foot into the place and did not clean it up sometimes it can get very annoying but what i am going to tell you for now is just psych yourself to you know suit their <laughs> way of life if not you might be fighting and fighting here is not allowed if you don't take care and you throw your hands if you intend to fight here you might either be fined <laughs> you could be jailed if the, the the injury caused the other party is severe you could be jailed or even be deported due to fighting yes so i would advise each and everybody out there if you intend to travel to the uae just psych yourself emotionally psychologically and then um, mentally so that you can adjust yourself to the tune of the people who are already the indigents not the locals the locals you can't you wouldn't even see them the only the only instance you see locals are when you get to the big places the malls when you get to the malls the tourist areas and then when you get to big big places and government you know um, working areas that is where you see the in the the locals that are that is the emiratis so the people i am talking about now are these indians these pakistanis these and the police and stuff like that but all the same there are also very nice people there are very cultured people there are very educated people there are very nice people who are also going to try their best to adjust to your tune also so when you're coming to the uae i guess i wish you all the best i i wish you safe flights and then um may your coming here be safe but as to things you are supposed to expect here i'm going to give them to you with time in time i'm going to update you on what is really on the ground you understand so i am most grateful you joined me on this one my name remains kofi techi if you haven't subscribed yet do well to subscribe to the channel for more information for more um, tips and guides as to how to get to the uae thank you so much for sticking and staying with me on this one until we meet again just stay safe and stay out of trouble see you on the next one